skin which gives it this pliant quality. And again, absolutely functional. This one's owned by Peter Harper and was bred, of course, by Peter and his wife Liz. They come from Andover in Hampshire. First set of CCs on offer today for the Hungarian Wirehead. Again, more heavily built than the Hungarian Fiddler. It's not the coat which is the only difference. You see the judge there going over that wiry top coat. But they're a little more heavily built, more substantial in the bow, a little longer in the body. So it would be an exciting win today. This one's called Halinga Halinga and was uh, bred by uh, Tracy Whitman and is owned by Tracy Whitman and Anne Wong. Glorious colour and a lovely outline. The Irish Red and White Centre set to this one show champion and Irish show champion Tullamore Ted. The white background with these islands of chestnut red on the coat. You know, we've had 88 of them here today as opposed to nearly 500 Irish setters. Hard to believe that they come from the same same blood and same roots many years ago. They were almost ex extinct at the turn of the century and only a few breeders working hard to keep them going. The Irish setter. This one, show champion and Irish show champion, North Amber, just cause for Glen Narva, I think it is. Four-year-old dog owned by, um, we've got Christine McClellan. Now, you see the beautiful head shape, the almond shaped eyes. The Irish setter is racier than the Irish red and white setter. He's more, a little bit more streamlined, a little lighter in the head and a slope from the withers down to the set of the tail, which should be held on the move, that slightly sloping top line. Ah, uh, one of my favourites, the Italian Spinoli. Inostricana Meda del Gadevole. Four years old, this is a bitch, uh, who was judged today by Janet Neal. And quite a unique shape, this breed. Don't think it's got a sort of dip in its...